accuracy. And on today's program, I'm going to give you some tips on how to measure. But be sure as you're doing your weight loss program that you're exercising along with that. And remember, exercise is not a lot, but enough. If you're needing to lose weight and a lot of inches, you have got to be on a weight loss program. Remember not to measure after you've exercised. Your muscles expand during exercise, so you're larger. So remember to exercise before, or measure before you've exercised. Now I'm going to show you different areas, and keep a chart. Measure yourself about every six weeks. Don't measure yourself every, every week because you're not going to see that much of a change during just seven days. But if you measure about every six weeks, you're going to see a large a difference that is going to be noticeable. But you're going to measure your arm in just about this position, where your arm bends right across there, is where you measure that area. Now some people like to measure their neck, but you're going to have to have somebody else measure that for you. And also your arm, you're going to need somebody else to measure that area. Across the bust area, or the fellows with your chest, you measure around the fullest part of the bust. And then tape around that and measuring that area. Now, with your waist, there is no set measurement how many inches down from the bust because some people are short-waisted, some people are long-waisted. To find your waist, bend to the side and put that, put your tape measure where that is, bend to the other side where you feel that your waist, and that's the area that you measure. Now, it's approximately seven inches down from your waist to the hip area on most people. Now, it's lower than you think. Usually, we're measuring way up here over the pelvic bones, but that's not right. You want to measure lower. This is the hip area, not up higher. Some women like to measure the thighs, and that is done approximately maybe about four or five inches down from the hip area. You measure that, and you can also measure around the ankle if you wish. But keep a chart. It's really interesting. Many women that write to me say, I, I kept a chart, and this is how much I lost. And so let me know how you're doing, too. If you're pregnant or have any physical problem, check with your doctor first before you exercise with me, and we're going to be right back to warm up.